Hi there, Chad here from Chibi AI, and I just want to show you something that is a part of the launch that we just launched yesterday. And we've had roles for a little while now, but we've recently added some tools and stuff to make them even easier to use or even better. But just to kind of recap, an AI role is like a persona that you give to the AI to do certain things, um, maybe in the way that you want. Maybe you create a persona that's like you, that, that writes like you, kind of has your, your wit, your humor, or whatever that you want kind of baked into the role. So that when you do your writing and stuff, it kind of works better to mimic your style. You could use them for things like if you want to chat with certain historical figures and things like that, or, or whatever you might use an AI role for. You can kind of think of them almost maybe as a teammate or something that's in your on your team ready to help you out with certain tasks. So today I just want to show you something that's kind of neat. I've seen this. It's kind of the classic example of chatting with Albert Einstein, right? But you need to create the persona first. So I want to show you what we call the role composer up here. So right now I'm, I'm in my content lab, which is essentially like a document. And I'm over here on roles where I clicked on here to open up my roles sidebar. So you might be in this view. We click here and it opens up the roles sidebar. And in here, I already have a group called my roles and I'm going to go up here to the role composer and click on this. And now I just want to describe what I want to put here, what I want the uh, composer to create. And I want him to create Albert Einstein. Okay. So we'll hit compose here. And so what's going on in the background now is TB's doing some work, checking with the AI. He's kind of formulating how he wants to craft this. And he's going to come up with some questions that uh, will help us uh, help Chibi create the role that we're expecting. So I'm going to click right here to expand all of these. And it says, what specific traits of Albert Einstein should we, so the description should emphasize his curiosity. Okay, that's good. Notice that these questions came pre-answered as well. So if you want to make adjustments, of course, please do. This, that's kind of the point of this as well, is they're pre-answered to kind of help you out to work quickly. There's a good chance that the pre-answer that's supplied is pretty close or exactly what you want. And if it's not, then that's the perfect opportunity for you to adjust it so that it does fit your needs better. So what you do is you just go ahead and answer these. I'm just going to leave these as is. You can take a moment here and pause the video if you want to read them. Uh, also, notice that there's this little fire icon here. If you write some of an answer and you want Chibi to help you finish writing the answer that you want in there, you can hit that fire button and it'll uh, Chibi will help you out with that. So I'm just going to click on finish role because once you're done, essentially click that button and Chibi's going to start doing his work in the background to generate this role. And when he's done, here you go. It says you are Albert Einstein, the iconic physicist whose wild hair and twinkling eyes mirror your boundless creativity or sorry curiosity about the universe and so it goes on and it kind of talks about what the persona is how to speak or write you know in that kind of sense and what the persona embodies and stuff like that of course again you can make adjustments to this any way you want but a couple of other things about roles in chibi is it also determines what model will be used. In this case, it's using Claude 3.5 Sonnet with a fallback model of OpenAI's GPT-40 Mini. And this is essentially a way for, if for whatever reason, when you run like a chat or a task or something that's using this role and Claude doesn't answer, then it'll fall back to GPT-40 Mini in this case and then continue your work. And um, it's just a sort of uh, security blanket kind of thing to help make sure that you can still get your work done in the event that one of the AI providers is having problems. So in addition to these instructions and these models and stuff, we have access to controls. These are like the typical AI controls that you might see that are like temperature where you can kind of control the creativity. It doesn't exactly line up to creativity, but it's kind of, in a sense, you could think of it that way. This is maximum length. This is how much you want to allow the AI to write. Now, different models support different amounts of, of maximum length, so just be careful here. We do set it so that it turns red when you go over a certain limit, and it'll turn yellow when you're over a different limit. This is roughly about how much it's going to be made, or it's going to be allowed to write uh, in one go, which 
to write 2,900 tokens, that's kind of a lot. So I wouldn't, I usually don't put it anywhere near that high, but I'll put it around maybe a thousand or so, and we'll leave everything else the way it is and close up these controls. I want to point out one more thing here is, uh, well, a couple more things. Over here at the right, we have these little like chat looking bubbles and notice that that matches the bubble that is down here to the left, which is our support widget. And what we do in Chibi is anywhere you see that icon, you even got one up here at the top. If you click on this, oops, <laughs> if you click on this, then you're gonna get the support widget open up on the side, but it's gonna open directly to the information that's related to kind of the position of where that, that bubble is. In this case, it's about your model. So we got a little guide here for choosing a model. And then we have another one here for the fallback model, just kind of describes what that is. And up here we have the role editor. So if you want some additional information about this role editor, you can find it here. Now we have all kinds of guides in here. So if you have anything that you want to learn about Chibi, you can find it all right in here, right inside the app. Um, yeah, pretty helpful stuff. Anyways, this thing, this role gets named automatically. In this case is called Curiosity Catalyst. I'm gonna go ahead and double click this and change it, just change it to Albert uh, Einstein so that I just know more closely what it is. And now let's save this. Um, we could activate it. Activating it would make it active on this document so that whenever I'm using like inline prompts or something like that, it would, it would use this Albert Einstein role. In this case, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go down to chat here and it automatically has selected Albert Einstein because that's the only role that I have. See, only one role. And so if I go into chat, we can see that I have Albert Einstein here and I can say hi and we'll get an answer back from Albert Einstein. <laughs> there we go. And we can have a chat with Albert if we wanted to. So just wanted to showcase that the role composer gives you the ability to write out that role. Now, why is that cool? I would say, you know, what are the chances that you could uh, write a really good role description for Albert Einstein just off the cuff? Um, might take a little bit of time, right? So the role composer is there to help you out to get that done more quickly. Now imagine if it wasn't Albert Einstein, if it was something more that you wanted that was more of a helpful figure for your business or for you know, your team or something like that, that will help you out to get the, the role composer will help you get that role created more quickly. Pretty cool stuff. I uh, would love to hear what you think about it. And if you want to go ahead and join Chibi, there's a seven day free trial that gives you access to all the features inside of Chibi. And we have a 30 day money back guarantee anyways. So if you're unhappy with what, what you see, when you give it a try, we're happy to give you a refund. And so yeah, until next time, take care.